This is non-calculator question number seven from the April 2019 SAT. If you have not already worked this problem, pause the video for a minute or so while you choose your answer and then watch my explanation to see how they compare. In this question, they give you a word problem and ask which of the following functions best models the population of jackrabbits from this word problem. And they tell us there were no jackrabbits before 1788 when 24 jackrabbits were introduced and they tell us that with at, if the population grew exponentially this is a 16.2 percent increase each year where p of t is the population of jackrabbits and t is years after 1788 so when t equals zero the correct function should give us the population in 1788, which is 24. t equals 0 gives you 1.162 times 1, which is 1.162. That's not 24 jackrabbits, so choice A is wrong. Here, t equals 0 gives you 24 times 2 to the 0, which is 24 times 1 is 24. So that could be right. This is 24 times 1.162 to the 0, which is also 24 times 1. could be right. And this is some weird number to the zero would be one jackrabbit in 1788. So choices A and D are wrong. We now have to decide between choices B and C. In choice B, at T equals one, we would have 24 times two, a little more than two, which is a little more than 48 jackrabbits. But we're only supposed to increase by 16% each year, and we just more than doubled going from t equals 0 to t equals 1. So choice B is wrong. The correct answer has to be A. And if you rec recognize the equation for annual growth, your amount equals your starting population or principal times 1 plus r to the t. In this case, since your starting population is 24, that's 1 plus 0.162 to the t, and that is the equation they gave us. College Board often asks you to write the equation for exponential growth, and when I have more videos on that, that topic, I'll post a link in the comments. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.